Hello, I'm Dr. James Morgan, and I would like to welcome you to the Psychology of Religion. I'm excited that I get to be your instructor for this course. I love this course. I've had the opportunity to teach it a number of times, and I always gain from the course every time I have a chance to teach it. I gain from the subject matter, but more importantly, I gain from you in what you are able to share about your own experiences as they relate to what we're going to be learning about during the, our time together. Uh, the psychology of religion is interested in looking at how having a religious orientation to life affects us, how it affects the way we live our lives, how it affects the way we relate to other people, how it affects our worldview. You don't have to have any particular religious orientation in order to take this course. Uh, we've had atheists, agnostics, and people from various religious persuasions take the course. Many people, regardless of whether they see themselves as being particularly religious or not, have described various ways in which they have benefited from taking this course. One of the things we will be looking at is what happens when we go through difficult times. When we face crises and have to overcome tragedies in life, and how does religion enter into our coping in those situations? This will be a major focus of the course. Since many of you are going into human services related fields, having an appreciation for the religious orientation of your clients and how that enters into their worldview and their coping. Uh, can also be useful. So one of the challenges of teaching an online class is creating a sense of community. We don't get to meet face-to-face you know, -face with one another in a classroom, but we do have discussion board, and discussion board provides us with a place where we can share our ideas with one another and respond to the ideas expressed by others. And I hope you'll take advantage of this discussion board option as a part of our course. I will also be sharing some of my uh, thoughts with you through the videos throughout our time together. And I hope that our video presentations will add to your learning. So if I were taking this course, one of the things that I would notice right away from reading the syllabus is that there is a fair amount of reading involved. So I know everybody is busy, especially in the degree completion program. Many people have a lot of other responsibilities with family and work and things like that. So what I've provided you with is a set of study questions for each section of the course. And I've even provided you with information on where to look up answers to those study questions. Your exams will be based primarily on the study questions. Uh, I've also provided you with PowerPoints, which provide out, sort of an outline of information that uh, includes uh, a lot of your study questions. And in the video presentations, I'll be talking about many of the study questions as well. But ultimately, it'll be up to you to look up the answers to these questions, to learn the information well, so that you'll be prepared when we have exams on that information. I've tried to incorporate into the course science-based uh, understanding of how the learning process works. Uh, researchers in the field of learning now realize that a more effective way for many of us to learn and remember things is to ask ourselves questions, to answer those questions, and then to review over and over again our questions and our answers to those questions. This helps us to, to develop deeper understanding and it also helps us to be able to remember information that we're learning. So this is the approach that I'm taking with you in our course. 
if I were you, before I would even begin doing any reading, I would look, read over the study questions that relate to that reading so that I could then uh, look up and write down the answers to those study questions as I'm going along with my reading. I would go back and review those questions and my answers to those questions every week as I'm adding to uh, those questions with new assignments each week. This way you'll be better prepared when you take your exams and when you take your final exam, you'll be better prepared then too since the final exam is comprehensive. Also, uh, have structured the course so that you will have the opportunity to really think about and reflect on what you're learning throughout our time together, how you can relate it to your life and your experiences, to your relationships, and how it may be a benefit to you. And I hope that you will write about those reflections of yours in your weekly reflection assignments so that uh, you'll have the opportunity to really think about what you're learning from uh, more of a personal application point of view and share some of those observations uh, with me. I'm not asking you to share anything too personal, and I'm also encouraging you to share some of your reflections uh, on discussion board with your fellow students and respond to the uh, Post of your some of your fellow students, but again, nothing too personal that you wouldn't mind sharing. So, one of the things about teaching in Gardner Webb that I really appreciate is that we are a Christian university. This means a lot to me personally, and the longer I've taught there, uh, the more important that aspect of Gardner Webb has become for me because I've grown spiritually in my faith in, in the time that I've been a part of the Gardner Web community. So it does mean that we can talk about matters of God and faith as a part of the course. Of course, in this particular course, the psychology of religion, uh, how would we not talk about it? But we can talk about it, and we can also pray for one another. And if you have a need for me to pray for you personally, or for us to pray for you as a class, you family member, friend, I hope that you'll let me, let us know. One of our discussion boards actually provides the opportunity for prayer and praise, as you will see when you look at the discussion board headings. I also like to start all of my courses with a prayer. So I'd like for you to join me now in prayer, please. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of this day and for your many blessings, including this opportunity to come together as a community of learners. Give us the strength to learn the information you have blessed us with. Give us the strength to persevere, to focus even when it seems beyond our power. Give us the ability to learn your will to interpret it correctly. Help each of us to live our lives as you wish us to live them, to become the person you intend for each of us to be. Help us to be patient with one another. Help us to be kind and helpful to others. Help us to be productive, to do our work. Help us to stay calm in times of great hardship and stress. Help us to grow not only in understanding of our subject, but in understanding of ourselves and of one another. Help us to use what we learn to glorify you through our achievements and through service to others. May we experience your love and grace in our relationships with one another and reflect the light of your love in all that we do. Amen.